Hi, this is Pastor Brian. We are reading through the book of Proverbs together. Today we are on Proverb 24. I am reading out of the Common English Bible Translation. Feel free to use your own and note the differences and maybe write down what that might mean in those differences and how that might change the meaning to you, the meaning of the text, uh, any of that is always interesting and helpful as we work together to understand the Bible together. So this is, again, Proverb 24. Don't envy evil people and don't long to be with them. Their hearts are focused on violence and their lips speak of trouble. By wisdom a house is built, by understanding it is established. By knowledge rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant wealth. A wise person is mightier than a strong one, a knowledgeable person than a powerful one. You should make war with guidance. Victory comes with many counselors. Wisdom is beyond foolish people. They don't open their mouths in the gate. Those who plot evil will be called master schemers. The scheming of fools is sin. People detest mockers. If you show yourself weak on a day of distress, your strength is too small. Rescue those being taken off to death. And from those staggering to the slaughter, don't hold back. If you say, look, we didn't know about it, the one who weighs hearts, doesn't he understand? The one who protects your life, he knows. He makes people pay for their actions. My child, eat honey, for it is good. The honeycomb is sweet in your mouth. Know that wisdom is like that for your whole being. If you find it, there is a future. Your hope won't be cut off. Wicked one, don't wait secretly at the home of the righteous. Don't destroy their dwelling. The righteous may fall seven times, but still get up, but the wicked will stumble into trouble. When your enemies fall, don't rejoice. When they stumble, don't let your heart be glad, or the Lord will see it and be displeased, and he will turn his anger from them. Don't get fighting mad at evil people. Don't be envious of the wicked. Indeed, there is no future for the evil. The lamp of the wicked will be put out. Fear the Lord, my child, as well as the king. Don't associate with those who are rebellious. Disaster comes suddenly from them. Who can know the ruin that both can bring? These are also the sayings of the wise. Partiality and judgment isn't good. Those who say to the guilty, you are innocent. The people will curse them. Nations will condemn them. But it will go well for those who rebuke them. A rich blessing will come to them. Those who speak honestly are like those who kiss on the lips. Get your outside work done. Make preparations in the field, then you can build your house. Don't be a witness against your neighbor without reason. Don't deceive with your lips. Don't say, I'll do to them what they did to me. I'll pay them back for their actions. I happened upon the field of a lazy person, by the vineyard of one with no sense, Thorns grew all over it, weeds covered the ground, and the stone wall was falling down. I observed this and took it to heart. I saw it and learned a lesson. A little sleep, a little slumber, 
a little lying down with folded arms, and poverty will come on you like a prowler, deprivation like a man with a shield. What did you hear today as we read through this proverb together? What spoke to you? What stood out to you? Verse 13 talks about eating honey and the honeycomb and how it's good and sweet in your mouth and knowing that wisdom is like that but instead of just tasty in your mouth it is good for your whole being your whole body and then it contrasts that with the wicked people i think it's interesting to basically compare wisdom to candy and how most people have some kind of sweet tooth for something. So let's have a sweet tooth for wisdom and knowledge of the Lord. So think about what stuck out to you. Write it down. Share it with someone. And I look forward to talking with you again tomorrow as we read a proverb a day. Thanks for joining me.